أنزلناه قرآنا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن وإن كنت من قبله لمن الغافلين What has happened? They tried again to kill Excellency Yuzarsif. What is going on in this palace? They're angry. Excellency Yuzarsif's presence means their destruction. They are justified. They are defending themselves. Ankmahu is very clever. He knows the only way to save the temple is to kill Yuzarsif and Akhenaten. Fortunately, it's not serious. Bring me some clean linen and boiling water. Boiled water, right away. God 
protects us all. If we look well, we can see he is with us everywhere and all the time. Ankh-Mahu and the temple priests are very lucky. Neither am I cruel, nor does Excellency Uzarsif allow me to act irrationally. Otherwise, I'd leave nothing of Amon's temple but rubble. There's nothing to worry about. I see the eradication of idolatry and the religion of Amon very soon. I don't know why the sky is downcast tonight. I see no good news in tonight's sky. Bad news? Relating to what? I'm not sure. I see my birthplace, Canaan, crowded and disturbed. In any case, we submit to God's will. Why don't you write a letter to Prophet Jacob? Why not send couriers to Canaan to inform your father of how you are doing? I have attempted many times, but the messenger angel of God has stopped me each and every time. It seems the time for us to meet has not yet come. Rachel, Farke, Old Yakim, as well as many others, leave on that caravan. Last year, Zilpa, and today Bilha. The caravan of death moves on, and each of us must join this caravan, one after another. Although Bilha and Zilpa added fuel to the fire of envy and animosity amongst my children, I forgave both of them. I forgave them and pray to God to also forgive their sins. I commiserate with Dan and Naptali over Bilha's death and ask God to bless her soul with his mercy. comfortable living in a palace. I must move to a simpler place. Why, Your Excellency? What's wrong with a palace? Palaces are better left for the rulers. Thus far, I've had no choice. Please find a simpler place for me. Very well. If you give us time, Inarus and Mimisabu will help find somewhere suitable for you. Send couriers all over Egypt today and invite the governor of each city to Thebes. Also, call the competent architects of Egypt as well. We must begin construction of the silos. Yes, Your Excellency. 
Seven silos must be built in Thebes. Excellency, one silo is enough for Thebes. There is no need for seven. Thebes is the capital city of Egypt. Many people come here from other cities and neighboring countries. The silos must be big enough to meet the needs of many people for seven years. Also, as we will need to store wheat and the stems, we will need the extra silos. The stems will take up unnecessary space. No, we require the stems as well. The wheat is for the people, and the stems will become chaff for the animals. Then we must install hatches under the silos for the removal of wheat. The silos must be built to protect against the dampness from the ground and the rain from the sky. In order to achieve this, you must dig into the ground a long and large ditch. Then build a strong basement of stone in this ditch. Then, on top of the strong stone basement, build the silos one beside the other. To protect the wheat against rain, the roof of the silos must be covered completely. There must be built at the top of each silo a hatch in order to pour the wheat. That is an excellent idea. That way, the wheat will be completely protected. That's right. We must have each set consisting of seven silos, so that one silo will be filled in each year, and one silo can be used to feed people during the famine. Excellency, why not build each silo individually? Because then we can guard more effectively, and with fewer guards. With your permission, Excellency, we will first draw the plans. I have already done that, so you can start work. The honorable governors must make sure that at the same time as the silos are being built. Also, canals and dams are built to carry water long distances from the Nile. This will ensure extensive cultivation can begin. some more people to collect taxes accurately and quickly. Give the taxpayers a receipt so they can prove in future that they are exempt. These collection agents must also give a receipt for the one-fifth of the revenue of the farmers and artisans. During the famine, they will receive wheat proportional to the money they have paid as displayed on the receipt. Your Excellency, how will the construction of the silos be financed? The money for the construction of the silos will come from the taxes collected. If there are any questions, I'm listening. Otherwise, I have nothing more to say at the moment. Go and begin work. It's a good place. I hope the prophet of God will like it. He'd like it even if it was in ruins. <laughs> <laughs> First, we should look inside.
Show this document and you'll be exempted. Thank you, Your Excellency. Next. This is tax for three years. As per this document, you will be exempt for six years. Next, come in. Excellency Malik. Easy. Be careful. These silos must be built in a way to protect wheat against the dampness from the ground and the rain from the sky. To achieve this, you must dig a large and long ditch in the ground. Build a strong basement from stone in this ditch and build the silos beside each other on the strong roof of the basement. Excellency, use his if going. He's going to Memphis to supervise the agriculture and silo construction. I heard he plans to visit all the cities. Am I to insult you just so you will answer? 
You won't be happy to hear it. Yuzar... Yuzar Seif is traveling to Memphis. It's not just your headband that makes you look like a snake. Your snide remarks are worse than snake venom. Have you ever thought to give me good news for a change? How did you hear it? One of the people from Thebes saw him going to the harbor. Go and investigate this and give me exact details. Yusasif sooner. He's alive because you are incapable. If you weren't so incapable, he wouldn't have survived. We were informed that our officer was killed in the palace. It seems he lost his life whilst trying to kill Yusasif. Do you know what Amenhotep would have done with us if he had survived and talked? This is a blessing from the Great Amman. Yuzasif mustn't succeed in harnessing the famine. Store as much wheat as is possible. We will make sure that Yuzasif's efforts are all in vain. I want you to send couriers to temples throughout Egypt and instigate people against him. Is it true? Yes, my lady. He left for Memphis this morning with his friends. I was at least happy when you, Sarsif, was in the city. How can I bear it now? Oh, mighty gods of Egypt! Oh, great Amon! Is this how you answer my prayers? I asked you to bring you, Sarsif, to me, but instead of that, you send him away from me. I don't know. I don't know why his God helps him so much. Why you ignore all my begging. Why, why do you ignore my begging? <laughs> What is it? Are you going to pay tax? Yes. There will be no famine. Why are you giving them all your coins? It makes no difference to me if there is a famine or not. I pay tax for one year only, then I'm exempt for two.
the prophet of God. And God's greetings to you. All the farms in this region have been plowed, and the sowing will be completed today. Good work. May God help you with this. Try not to leave any place unsowed in this area. Let's go. How much wheat will be stored that you're building so many silos? The wheat for seven years' consumption, and the stems. The wheat is for feeding the people. The stems, chaff to feed the animals. <laughs> you are so making fun of everybody. Nobody stores the stems of wheat. <laughs> This is Yusar Seif's prediction. I knew it would come true. This rain is the start of seven years' prosperity. Is it not strange that he knows everything? Yusar Sif be so certain that there would be seven years of prosperity. They say that Yusar Sif's God tells him everything. Then why don't our gods tell us anything? Why don't they ever predict anything?
Greetings to the servant of Amon's temple. Greetings to you. Are you going to give your wheat to the government? Yes, we are storing our wheat. For the famine. How do you know that Yuzar Sif's government will actually return the wheat to you during the famine? Well, I don't know. They said they will. Would it not be more secure if you kept it at your own house? Yuzar Sif is an honest man, and I trust him absolutely. People reveal their true selves in times of crisis. The Yuzar Sif of the Prosperity will undoubtedly be different to the Yuzar Sif of Famine Time. I'll stay here while you see the other farms. Would you like an uninvited guest? Welcome. We would be honored. God's greetings to you. Thank you. Was the harvest good this year? I've never seen anything equal to it in my whole life. Even our ancestors. Never had such a good harvest. He who works hard will always see a good result. We reap, but still it doesn't end. It is the dream of every farmer to have a good harvest. They say the governor of Egypt prays, and his god blesses all the farms. I am also sure this is all done by Yuzar Sif's god. Tell me, do you help your father? Yes. My sister and I collect the wheat that father reaps. Good. Well done. You are the future man of the family. You must help your father. You hardly ate. That was plenty. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Who was that? We forgot to ask him. You didn't tell us who you are. Where are you from? Yuzar Sif, your servant. Let's go. I can't believe it. Was that the governor? Yes, Yuzar Sif, the governor of Egypt, was our guest and ate with us. May God protect you! Use our thief! How handsome he is! There's a little left over there, and this will be done today. 
They shouldn't leave even one single cluster. Reap all of it. God help you. Let's go. Do you work on your own plots or the pharaohs? The pharaohs. How are the people responding to giving their wheat? Not too well. The priests have prevented people from giving the wheat. They have been spreading false rumors. Call the people here. I would like to talk to them. People, listen. Excellency Yuzarsif wants to talk to you. Put down your loads and stop working. Come over here. Come on. I have been told the priests are trying to dissuade people from storing their wheat in the government silos. That's all right. As I said before, everyone can decide whether or not to store their wheat in the government silos. But I must repeat one point. During the famine, we will give wheat only to those from whom we have taken wheat. The government of Egypt will give wheat to those who have stored it, by any means possible, but only to those who have stored it. That means that if you keep and store your own wheat and it is damaged for any reason, you will not be able to get wheat from us. My advice is to store your wheat in the silos and guarantee your family's bread. Remind others of this also, Malik. We'll go. My mind will be more at ease if my wheat is stored here. Yes, I trust you as if more than my eyes. They said the wheat must be stored with its ear. What are you doing? Threshing the wheat, the way we always do. Things are different now than they were in the past. There is going to be a famine. Why should I believe that? Just because Yuzarsif said. What famine? What if there is a famine? I'm sure there won't be. Hmm. But suppose there is a famine, and you haven't stored wheat. What will you do then? 
Then we will buy it from the agents who are selling it. From what I understand, the government will be giving weed only to those people who have stored wheat in the silos now for the famine. When we see there's a famine, then we will store our wheat. But when the famine begins, there won't be any wheat. You must store it beforehand. When the sky becomes mean, there won't be one single drop of rain, and not a single seed will grow. How can you be so sure of that? Do you think you're God's representative on Earth? Or perhaps you came from the future to warn us? Actually, I am the messenger of God on Earth. The story of famine in Egypt is like the story of the resurrection. If during the seven years you are on the farm of the world, you sowed something and stored it, you'd have something to reap in the seven years of famine. But the one who ignored working hard and storing will have nothing at all to reap on that day. Store for the time of famine. You didn't say who you are! Joseph, or Yuzarsif. Lady Zuleika. Is that you, Rodamon? Have you brought me news of you, Sarsif? He is still away. He is supervising the construction of silos, cultivation, and tax collecting. He is storing wheat to fight the famine. During the last five years, he has come to Thebes many times to report and consult with Akhenaten. Let me know when he is here next. I will talk to my friends in the past, and they can inform us next time he is here. I want to dismiss our palace guards. The salary of the palace guards has been overdue for some time. You're the trustee, are you not? You could ask Sufer to pay them. I do nothing without my lady's permission. Well then, pay the salary of the palace residents. The palace does not need so many guards. Now that Potiphar is no longer here, don't you agree? Dismiss them all. Tell Kofo and Sufar to come here. My lady, the palace is not safe without guards. It may be robbed. Not with you here, I'm sure of that. Although it is dangerous, and I cannot possibly do it alone, I obey Lady Zaleika's order. Once this palace belonged to the second man in this country, Potiphar, the governor of Egypt. But what now? Now it belongs to a pathetic, defeated widow who has neither interest in this palace, nor eagerness even to live. If not for the fire you, Sarsif, has set in my heart, I would rid myself of this life. I feel nothing exists in my life but you, Sarsif. I 
want you to pay the outstanding salaries of all the workers in the palace. And dismiss them, all except Rodamon. I can't afford to pay them anymore. Excellency Kofu dismissed the priests in the palace temple. I can no longer afford their food or expenses. Amon's temple should have been closed down when an infidel became the chamberlain of this palace. It's been uselessly open for too long. 